It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Brimstage Breweries IPA. This beer was first brewed in 2015 to celebrate 1,000 brews and it proved so popular that it become part of their permanent range. That's a good story. That's a very good story. They probably started out life as a traditional brewer. They thought, you know what, we'll trial for our thousandth brew, we'll trial a 6% ABV IPA. And it's a nice story that it proved so popular that they just carried on brewing this style of beer. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Look at that, nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. It's still smoking. Whoa, it's still smoking. <laughs> Classic looking American, I'm going to say American style IP. I have had a little sneaky look at the label. It's been brewed with English and American hops. So you can't quite call it solely an American IPA. But it's going that way, you know. So it's a two finger white head. Slightly hazy look to the beer golden in color good carbonation let's get that all important aroma oh oh that smells really good really really good wow The aroma is very bright, bright in that it just makes you smile. There's a good sense of English hops in the beer and a very, very good sense of American hops in the beer. Maybe some Cascade. And that gives citrus, a little bit of pine, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of orange peel and a little bit of fleshy blood orange. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a beer. What a beer. And just think, I mean, I reviewed over three and a half thousand beers now on the channel we've had a few million views and there's still little breweries that pop up on my radar from lovely people who send the beer so neil long was kind enough to send me this beer and it's just brought a smile to my face because sometimes and only sometimes uh, you get sent beer on the channel and they can be absolute duds. And I don't, I'm pretty sure some of you or most of you won't mind me saying that. Sometimes you just get sent a few duds and, and you think to yourself, oh, blimey. You know, this person's gone out of his way, he's bought the beer, he's wrapped it up, he sent it to the post office sent it off paid some money and you're thinking oh blind me what have i got in my glass here what is this beer am i drinking but this is great and you're always a little bit weary when you come across a brewery that you've never heard of and you're thinking brimstage brewery what do we have here and then you open it up and you and you see that yeah it looks really good Nice levels of carbonation, nice haze to the beer. It's a classic looking American style IPA. It's got a two finger white head, good carbonation, you smell it. And then the secrets start and knocking themselves. When you get your nose in, it's a fantastic aroma for a beer, it really is. It's got all of the right 
it's, it's, it's touching the notes that it should touch in the aroma. It's, it's grapefruity and citrusy and this orange peel. And then you jump in and you give it a taste. And that fluffy, easy drinking beer. It looks quite carbonated, but it's not, it's perfect. It's just enough carbonation to push the beer around the inside of the mouth to release more of them flavors onto the palate. When you have a beer that just it, it's overly carbonated, it sits in the stomach and you bloat it in instantly. It's, 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 it's not, you know, there's too much carbonation, but this is absolutely spot on. It's soft and fluffy and refreshing and drinkable. And then it goes over the grapefruit and orange peel, fleshy blood orange, nice little bit of sweet malt. It's really good. Look at it. Look at the quality. Look at the lacing on the glass. I'm going to rate it. Brim Stage Brewery IPA. It's no wonder that it become part of their permanent range. I'm going to give that a very, 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 very solid 9 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10 beer then from Reno Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.